So which Americans were being targeted? Now, August, 20, August 2nd, 2022, a media organization attained a copy of a document which whistleblowers subsequently authenticated to the committee that is styled the FBI's Domestic Terrorism Symbols Guide on Militia Violent Extremists. Mr. Boyle, are you generally familiar with that guide? Yes. And, and that guide identified certain things that made people more likely to be deemed a threat or terrorists, didn't it? Yes. And wasn't one of those things just the number two and the letter A next to each other? Yes, it was. And in your experience as a law enforcement official, does putting the word two and or the letter two and A next to each other make someone more likely to be violent or lawbreaking? No. And uh, if someone signified the right that they support the right to bear arms, were, was that also something in the symbol guide? Yes. And how about this one really got me. The Betsy Ross flag. Was the Betsy Ross flag in the terrorism symbol guide? It was. And, and what about the Betsy Ross flag makes someone more <laughs> likely to be a violent extremist? I wish there was a reasonable explanation for that question. There isn't. And people blew the whistle and said, this stuff is crazy. Americans are being targeted. Mr. Friend, you ever been to a school board meeting? Yes, I have. FBI ever sent you to the parking lot of a school board meeting? Yes, they have. And in the parking lot of a school board meeting where the FBI sent you, you were taking down information regarding people's license plates. That's correct. Now, it wasn't the first time you'd been to a school board meeting, was it? No, I went on my own as a private citizen. As a parent? Yes. And so there you were. It must have been quite an interesting perspective. There you were taking down the information of people, parents attending school board meetings on behest of the FBI. And you had been one of those parents at a school board meeting. How did that feel? Well, after I attended privately, my colleagues teased me that they were probably going to start investigating me. You used to go after the worst of the worst, didn't you? Yes, I believe so. You went after people who looked at child porn? Yes. People who were sexually exploiting children? Yes. And then you were in the parking lot of a school board meeting, taking down the information of parents. What happened to the cases that you were working to to protect our communities from the worst predators that exist. I was told they were not to be resourced, uh, and then uh, after I was suspended, uh, they were handed off to local law enforcement. Wow, so the FBI just decided it was more important to have you in that parking lot of that school board meeting than getting the worst of the worst away from people that they could harm. That's correct. But you deserve the consequences you are getting, according to the ranking member. Mr. O'Boyle, what, the ranking member said that when people break the law, they deserve the consequences they get. And it doesn't matter that they served in the military. So what law did you break before the FBI packed up all your stuff and moved it across the country to Virginia? No true law. The only thing I broke was not towing the line for the FBI. Like I said when I opened, my oath is to the Constitution, not to the FBI. And... Our laws provide you avenues to talk to Congress, to talk to your supervisors about those concerns, right? Correct. And so you didn't deviate from that, did you? No. Oh, you, didn't, you didn't go to the media first, did you? No. You used what the law provided, and your family has paid an exquisite price for that, haven't they? They have. How old were your children when they moved you across the country? <clears throat> Six, five, three, and two weeks. A two-week-old baby. Could you get your stuff? Six weeks later. Oh, so for six weeks, almost every possession to your name, the FBI had and wouldn't give back to you. How, how did you... What, what time of year was it? Was it winter, summer? When I reported, it was in September. Uh, so when we were traveling, it was summertime, essentially. So we had basically summer clothes, but then we were... Uh, basically stranded uh, in Wisconsin, which is where we're from. It gets cold there pretty, pretty quick. And well, I'll take your word for it. I'm a Florida man. But what, what was it like when you had to go and explain to your wife that you didn't have coats for your children because the FBI wouldn't give them back to you? It was horrible. I mean, we were uh, asking family for uh, clothes and... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it was a difficult time. Yeah. You, were, you became a charity case, didn't you? I did. And now I get derided for that. I never thought I'd have to accept charity in my life. 
I thought I would be able to take care of my family, but I'm grateful for everyone who has provided charity to me. That even includes a former colleague's uh, church. I would name the church to give them recognition, but I'm too worried that the FBI would send informants to infiltrate that church as well. Yeah, well, they've already done that with the Catholics. I yield back.